Ohio as a swing state. Um, every four years, the media descends on the state of Ohio, wanting to know how Ohio voters are going to vote. And that's many reasons. Um, Ohio is the quintessential swing state in that it always seems to change its vote in favor of whoever is ultimately going to win the presidential election. Um, no Republican has ever won the White House without winning Ohio, and no one has ever won the White House since 1960, Democrats or Republicans, unless they've won the state of Ohio. So since 1960, Ohio has always voted for the winner. That's why there's so much focus on the state. Now actually, Ohio's power is declining a bit because as populations shift throughout the United States, Ohio is not growing as quickly as some of the other states. And what that means is that we lose representatives in Washington and we lose electoral votes. But still, even after we have lost many votes, Ohio has a, is the second most powerful among the swing states. Only Florida, with its 29 electoral votes, is more powerful than Ohio um, with its 18 electoral votes. So that's why we spend so much time and pay so much attention to Ohio. Ohio also is basically tied as a state. If you add together the number of votes for Republicans in 2000, 2004, and 2008, and for Democrats in those same years, what you find is almost a statistical tie between the two. Um, only about a 0.1% difference in the vote between Republicans and Democrats. So a very close state. Uh, it's important to understand, though, about swing states in general, and perhaps Ohio in particular, is that it's not that Ohio voters are all undecided and don't know what they're going to do. Uh, most Ohio voters actually know what they're going to do well ahead of the election, whether they'll vote for the Democrat or the Republican. But those who are locked for both sides, Republicans and Democrats, are fairly even in the state. And that means they're basically tied until you get to these swing voters that are maybe 5 to 8% of the population of Ohio. But those swing voters, small number, um, are probably going to determine which way Ohio goes, and if history is any teacher here, which way the national presidential vote will go.